recipe, I'm just gonna use like a quarter of a white onion, a really big knob of ginger that I peeled here in advance, and <laughs> six cloves of garlic, which I'm gonna peel and chop up. And then these are Japanese sweet potatoes. They're a white potato that's slightly starchier than like a russet potato or baking potato, but you could use any white potato of your choosing. You could also use sweet potato if you wanted, um, but it, uh, um, I haven't tried it that way. Um, and then I'm gonna be using these green split peas that I got at Kroger. I'm gonna use one cup, which is the equivalent of four servings. And I'm gonna be using some Chinese five spice that I got at H Mart. This is basically like anise and uh, I can't remember what else is in this. It smells really good and it doesn't have any salt in it. So I'm kind of excited about that because I don't really like to salt things or add a lot of sodium to things. And then I'm gonna be using a bay leaf as well. And then a fun ingredient I'm going to throw in is, are these uh, dried goji berries. I'm going to let them uh, cook in the soup. They'll get soft and subtly sweeten it as well. So this is going to be delicious. First up, I'm going to peel the two potatoes and chop them up coarsely. I'm going to chop up the ginger and peel and chop up the um, garlic as well as the onion. From by the cost, this is organic creamy cashew butter by once again. And the last thing I do is add, a, I had to feed the girls, so now I can eat my lunch. It's three o'clock and I'm having a protein bar. This is by Rise and it's the almond honey flavor. They're gluten free. So this is what they look like, just like a typical protein bar. All that's in here is whey protein, honey, and almonds. So they're kind of hard, I don't know if it's like that they got, but they're good, they keep me satisfied. So add cinnamon and nutmeg. Um, dip them in a little bit of ranch. So I'm going to cook those. I don't even time it. I just look at them until they're crispy and then that's when I take them out. So I figured I'd make these right now and I'd have a little, little snack. And I'm also going to make some tea. This is the Organic Milkmaid Tea by Earth Mama Angel Baby. And it kind of tea just because I like it a little bit stronger. But yeah, that's what. Here are the potatoes all done. They look so delicious. The tub. Once they can fit, then I can use this. And the cool thing is this little guy, I haven't opened it yet, but it comes with a, um, a bubble wand, so it's just kind of fun. And my favorite product from the company that I've tried is this. It's the massage oil. <laughs> this tastes like black licorice, so if you don't like black licorice, you might not like this. Honestly, it's not the best tasting, but I don't really care. Sometimes if I want a tea to, for a specific purpose, I haven't had to use it a lot. On all the questions you have asked me over the past month, around us and we used to be solidarity wraps and I really really like them and now well, a lot easier before I had a walk with a little bit do it I would relax I would sit down um, but I would every day try to get some activity in like clean the house risk of having postpartum depression with twins and I was just really nervous about that so that was full of nutrients that is your baby's source of everything so I mean I was talking to my doctor about it because like, it's not going to do anything bad to you. There's no, like, it's not proven that it's going to do all these things that it claims, but it's not going to hurt you. So I was like, well, why not? Um, the other thing that it helps with is your milk production. And I'll get to breastfeeding in a second, but I have been producing so much milk. So if that is um, on one side, it would be a really pump on the other side, and I got five ounces. So there is a lot of milk. Whether it's because all right, so you can see I have the uh, four servings of split green peas that I just uh, washed um, in water. You don't need to soak those in advance, FYI. Um, the two chopped white um, Japanese sweet potatoes, the onion, the garlic cloves, the goji berries, the Chinese five spice, and the bay leaf is floating in there as well, and I just added three cups of water. And now I have it in my kosari, and I'm just gonna put the lid on. All right, and I'm gonna put it on the soup setting, and I'm going to uh, adjust to um, more high, or 35 minutes, um, and it's four out of six on the pressure gauge here. Um, and so I'm just gonna hit start. The reason I want it to cook a long time is the longer that it cooks, the um, just kind of the thicker it gets and the more flavorful it gets. And once it uh, comes to pressure, it will cook for 35 minutes, and then it'll take about 20 minutes for it to slow release, um, at which point I will take the lid off and uh, show you guys what it looks like.
All right, so it's just been, it, all right, so the cassari finished and it just defaulted to keep warm. And so now I'm just gonna release the valve. You can see it was already down, so all the pressure is out. I'm gonna open it up and it's still warm. It's gonna steam quite a bit. Um, and at this point, I'm just gonna take my potato masher here and mash everybody together. <laughs> but you guys, it smells so good. Um, but you could totally be done at this point. However, I want it to get really thick. Um, and so I'm gonna actually do it another time. Um, the soup button one more time. You, you could totally be done at this point, okay? Uh, but I want it to get, the longer it cooks, the thicker it gets, okay? So I'm gonna hit um, soup, and then I'm gonna do, I'm just telling you what I'm doing, and I'll put it down in the description box. I'm gonna do less low, so it's gonna cook 15 minutes this time. Um, for, for um, so it's gonna cook for 15 minutes, um, and it's, Pressure four out of six. So I'm gonna let that go and it'll just thicken it up ever so slightly more. All right guys, so it came out so thick and delicious looking. I don't know if you can see that. I um, basically just uh, put it in this Pyrex bowl and let it cool and it really thickened up quite a bit. It is so awesome tasting. Um, I had a little taste. It's um, the, ch the, the Chinese five spice and the ginger and the goji berries. It is like, oh man, the combination. I, I'm really pleased with myself, this flavor combination. I think it's really unique and I highly recommend it. Um, I'm looking forward to having this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna serve it up in, after I get out of the shower. But I think I'm gonna top it with some of these pea sprouts that I got at H Mart. I don't know if you can see that. So that's gonna be wonderful. But yeah, guys, um, I will, um, as per usual, put the recipe um, and the ingredients down below for this. I highly recommend it. It smells good, tastes delicious. And the great thing about this is that it's really good, like, it just gets better throughout the week. The flavors intensify, the soup thickens up. But yeah, this is a total, this is another total Kasari win here, this pea soup, and I highly recommend it. So, mmm, lick the spoon good. <laughs> but as always, I will put the recipe down below. I'm gonna take a shower because I just got out of the gym. And I'm gonna serve this up after I get out of the shower and get to editing. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.